We're here at the Seahawk Cultural Center where Hilton Head Christian Academy is going to be presenting the great American classic, <laughs> The Music Man. And we have the director, Michelle McElroy Cox with us. She has been head of the theater department for 10 years yes. at HHCA. So you, you look beautiful. Oh. So well, yeah. how are the nerves? Good, I mean, we're, we're in a very good place. It's Monday, right? It's Monday? Yeah, Monday. Monday, okay. <laughs> it's Monday and uh, we open Thursday. Right. You just saw us basically go through act one. Um, fairly well. It was outstanding. Uh, so, I mean, we got a few kinks to work out, but it's we're looking good. We're excited. It's my understanding you have about 70 students involved. You've mm -hmm. got, in, whether they're in the pit, in the orchestra, behind the stage, on stage, mm -hmm. you've got 20 seniors. 20 so, seniors. From fourth grade all the way to seniors. How did you get so many young people involved in the theater? I just Well, it. I think it's just, we've been building this program for years, um, just building the culture of our theater program. And our older students do such a great job of making it an inviting, warm environment for our younger students. And they just want to be a part of it. And everyone feels welcome and in, everyone's encouraging to one another. And uh, it that's why we have 20 seniors because seven of them started doing it and then their friends started doing it. And it's just grown and grown and grown over the years. With me now are the two leads of Music Man. We have Connor White, yeah. he's playing Harold Hill. And then we have Emma K. Dowsing and she is Marion Peru. <laughs> <laughs> so we were just watching act one. It's looking good and you've got a couple more nights of rehearsal, but how long have you all been working on Music Man? Emma Kate? Oh, I, we started, what was it, three months ago, I think, in rehearsals. And so, um, but we just got to this space to rehearse on Saturday. It was our first tech rehearsal here, so. So when you start rehearsals, are you only working music and dance and then you get into the dialogue and the blocking and all of that, Connor? How does that, so, talk about the process. The way we kind of do it is we usually go through with the read through, which we did in January, um, like the end, uh, start of January. We do read through and we kind of go through, make sure everyone kind of knows um, what's going on. Um, and then we'll go through blocking. Um, and so we'll separate it by days. So some days will be blocking days where we go through scene work um, and character choice. And then other days will be full dance call, which will be everyone and we'll just dance all day. And then other days we'll do vocal rehearsals. And then after a while, after the first month or so, we just put it all together and we do mm -hmm. all at once. So how are you feeling, Emma Kate? How are you <laughs> opening I'm night is on Thursday? I Emmy, how are you feeling? Are you all ready? Yes, I think we're ready as a whole. Um, personally, I'm super excited. It's crazy, it's our last show. Um, I know, there are 20 seniors, seniors yes. in this show. You both are going on. Are you gonna major in theater? I'm not, but I'm hoping to do some like community theater or something Perfect. in college. What about you, but... Connor? Currently, um, I'm not, but I'm thinking about applying in next semester um, to double major with okay, theater and business. Okay, very so. cool. So any message to our future audience members that'll be coming this weekend? Why would we wanna come to Music Man? I mean, first of all, it's a classic show. Yeah. Um, I remember the first time I got the script in my hand, I was like, what is Music Man? You know, <laughs> as a young kid, I was like, ah, I don't know what this is. Um, and I fell in love with the script, fell in love with the character. Um, and it's it's a classic. You can't go wrong with it. It's a lot of fun, fun music um, and good character development. Yeah, the music so. is, is fabulous and the dancing and Thank it's just you. a great, wholesome, all-American story. Yes. Yes. Thank you, guys, and congratulations. Thank you so much. Don't break a leg. <laughs> <laughs> and we have the music man himself, James Berry. He is director of fine arts for Hilton Head Christian Academy, and you're running the show with a, with a huge orchestra, a live orchestra. That's exciting. A lot of fun. We have a great mixture of adults and students down here in the pit, and uh, a lot of them give their time to uh, be a part of this production. It's a lot of fun. So uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, as far as difficulty of the music, how, how difficult? is it? It's pretty tough. I'd yeah. say at least a nine. Um, we did White wow. Christmas and Wizard of Oz. It's definitely mm -hmm. on par with one of those shows and uh, classic Broadway. And so, you know, working with Michelle and, and you, you know, the two of you, it's a great partnership, isn't it? Absolutely. We have a, a great uh, dream team of, of people that help in this production and uh, it's just awesome to be a part of it. So how do you think the, the students are doing? The acting, the singing, the whole you know, all of it. Uh, there's a lot that still has to come together, but uh, we're gonna give it our best shot. And I think by Thursday night, uh, it'll be a great opening night. Good job. Uh, James Berry, again, is the musical director for Music Man. So come and see the show. It is this weekend, the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. So there are four performances. There's a matinee on Saturday. And that's a wrap for this edition of the WHHI Daily News. I'm Robin Zimmerman. Thank you all so much for watching. Please stay safe and healthy, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.